Hi, this is Savara from Scrappy Media, and today I'm going to create my second page of my Heritage album. So the papers that I'm, being, I'm going to be using for this whole project, for this whole album, is going to be papers from this stack, from her, from the heirloom stack, from my um, die cut with a view. I may use cardstock from another, you know, just regular cardstock that I buy at Joanne's, but I'm going to stay true to this paper pad, and I'm going to create my whole album using it. And also, I'm going to do a lot of hand embellishments. Um, this paper line has a lot of nice little icons and things like that and that's what I'm going to use for embellishment and I'm also going to use my Cricut and some of my punches to create the embellishment for this album. So this is a sketch I'm going to use. It is not, um, it's actually four, four pictures. This is not one picture sketch. I do like, like it because it's a double page layout. Um, and I do like it because it has a circle doily in the center and I thought that would be perfect for my Martha Stewart um, circle punch. So I want to show you that. So I'm going to use that. And I think I can go ahead and, re and I want to show you also to, I can refit this sketch using one um, picture instead of two. So um, what I'm trying to show you is that you don't have to stay within the sketch. The sketch is just to give you a little bit of inspiration and a starting point for your layout, but you can change it up however you want it. And instead of four pictures, we're going to do two pictures. So let's go ahead and get started. So it has a band on the top, so I figured this would be nice for that lacy band and some strips on the bottom. And this is part of the paper pad. So all this is part of the paper pad. This is, I think it will look very nice as my doily. So I'm using that. This is gonna be the frame that I'm gonna insert my pictures. And this is gonna be the background layer. However, um, I'm gonna have to back this up because it's very flimsy. Um, so I'm gonna back this up with a piece of cardstock, in white cardstock. So let me go ahead and get started on my layout. So I'm taking my paper that I'm going to use for my frame and I cut it out into a frame and now I'm just going to cut the center out by creating a border around it and I just cut the center out. And now I backed up more of my, page, my base page and then I'm just making sure that the frame fits and I'm referring back to my layout and I want to create that lacy border. So I'm going through my papers trying to figure out which of um, my borders I'm going to use. So I'm deciding to use, um, I end up using the top border there that you see. And I cut my strips. And what I'm doing, I'm just cutting out kind of the, the smaller lace border on these strips. And then because all my, um, this album, everything's going to be ink. So the common theme for this album is going to be the rounded corners on my base page, of all my base page, and the inking. So I'm using some vintage photo distressing ink to kind of ink the edges. And now I'm just placing my strips down. And it looks like I've layered without all the bulkiness of the layer. This paper really lends itself to kind of do this kind of treatment. And um, you really got to make sure that you line up the strips. So that's why you put your papers together and you line up the strips with the other companion page. So I'm just making sure everything is squared away. So now I want to sew around the edges because all my this album, all the edges are going to be sewn. And I'm using my hand handheld sewing machine to kind of sew the edges out. And I need to tape the tails down. So I'm referring, I keep referring back to my um, sketch. And then the next thing I'm going to do is the doily. So I'm using my new Martha Stewart edge round. I forget how you call this punch, but it's the one that creates a doily. I think it's a round edge punch or something like that. I want to create a 12 by 12. So the best way to do it is you mark the center of your paper. And once you have your center, you make an X. And then you're going to use that piece there and you're going to match the, the lines with your X lines. So I'm just showing you there um, how to match it up. And you'll get a perfect um, doily. And you can even use scraps of paper 
as small as six inches. Just make sure that you center the paper onto that um, rounded, whatever that call handle. It needs to be center in there and then you'll be fine. So I'm just punching around the edge and here I'm done with my doily. So then I'm going to ink the edges and I'm going to cut the center out. So I'm going to cut it in half because it's going to be on half of it is going to be on each half of the page. Now for this I'm using glue sticks. I want to make sure it adheres good on my page. And then now I'm going to put my frames. So I only put tape on three edges of my frame. And then I'm going to put the picture first. And now I will take the adhesive back from each side of the frame and lay it down on my paper. So I'm going to create the title. And I was at a loss for the title for these pages because they're really not my picture. They are from my husband's family and I just want to create the album for him but I really don't know other than my father-in-law is in these pictures and their school pictures I really didn't know what title to put in there so then when I that happens I just go through my magazines the website and I looked at layouts now that one has a title move but yet it this is not pertinent to these pictures however um, I did find a layout that says graduate so then I decided to put graduate of the 50s or graduates of the 50 and then on the other side I was going to put memories or something like that. So right now I cut out all my letters and I use a variety of stamps. These fonts that you see there are actually was done with the Tim Holt wordplay um, Sizzik die and then um, the other letters that I'm going to use to spell of the 50s are from a Martha Stewart alphabet stamp that I have which I embossed with Tim Holt um, distressing emboss embossing or something like that it's cut it it, it, it embossed with a matte filling fitting um, finish and it's not very shiny so I, I did like that and now I'm using a lot of my pre-cut embellishments from the paper pack and from my stamps and a camera that I created um, with some fabric. And I'm just starting to kind of figure out what of these icons and these elements I'm going to use for my page. So I decided to use this little tag that comes from the paper pad as um, in the side there. And then that word inspired, I'm going to use some foam adhesive and I'm going to raise it up and put it on my layout. And notice that none of this foam adhesive or any tape is going to touch my pictures. It's mainly going to touch the border. And that's why I like to put that border around my um, picture because for one, it will protect the, the edges of my original photos. And second, I can layer things on top of the picture without really adhering in them to the picture. So I'm going to put some more embellishment. I'm sorry I'm off frame, but what you see down there, and at the end of this video, I'll give you a close look, close up look of the layout. I'm putting a little tricycle that was actually part of the paper pad and then the word that says smile. So now I'm adhering my title and I start from the edge the um, right hand edge of my page and work myself towards the center of the page and I did the same thing with the lower title 50s I started with the 50s first and then worked myself towards the center so now I'm looking for a little more I, I it kind of seems like it needed something in that area there after, between the graduate and the ticket it needed an embellishment so I put my butterfly in that area I'm also adding a little more embellishment, which you cannot see, but I'll, I promise that you will look at the final cluster at the end of this video. So now I'm ready to create my second page. And those that yard um, jarred that you see there, that was from a stamp that I got at Michael's in the Valentine section. And um, I colored it with watercolor. So now I'm just kind of figuring out what clusters I'm going to create with all my little embellishments that I cut out. 
And because one of the common theme of all my pages is going to be all the pages going to have a feather of some sort. It's going to have stitching. It's going to have um, some inking on the edges and it's going to have some um, rounded corners. So that's why I, I make sure I put the I included the feathers as part of one of the clusters. So now I'm just putting that apple, which I stamped, I colored, and I cut out. And then I'm going to put, go ahead and start laying down my clock. And I'm making sure that I don't touch any of the pictures with the adhesive. And I'm trying to kind of figure out how to create that cluster. And then I'm going to go ahead and I was going to spell out or stamp out the word cherish the moments but then um as i put the stamp kind of auditioned the stamp on my page i really didn't like it i didn't like the cherish either but then um i decided to use moments and just use that word so i'm inking it with versa mark and then i'm going to use some some more of that tim hulls distressing embossing ink and it's the walnut stain that i'm actually using and I'm just going to heat emboss it. And this embossing powder is kind of difficult to figure out if it's done or not. Because it, it doesn't shine. It just has a matte finish. But you basically just heat it enough. And then go ahead and rub your fingers or, um, around it. And that will tell you if it's done or not. So I'm just placed some more of these mirror butterflies and dragonfly from... Um, from the inside the, the yard and I'm also going to use one of them one of the butterflies to be the dot over my word memories so here is a sketch and it has the four pictures um, and now I'm showing you my interpretation of that sketch it only has one picture per page and I created some clusters as you can see there with all the icons from the paper pad and also some of my stamps and then this is the second page and where I show you um, again one picture and some more embellishment and I'm making sure that all my layouts have at least a feather, some stitching and a rounded corner with the inking. I hope I inspired you and thank you for watching. Bye now.